Yes. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Huh? You're not there. I'm just cooking some sand. Why are you cooking sand? Let's get it dry. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the Toro striping kit on your lawnmower. Now I have a Toro mower, but this will work for pretty much any push mower. And I'm going to show you all the tricks that made it way much easier to do this time around. Uh, a few years back I did it. Uh, it was it was a mess. Learn from me this time and it's breeze. Alright, so the first step is you're going to want to cook the sand that you're going to use in the roller. I know this sounds ridiculous, but look how the sand is sticking to the spatula. Um, and this is after it's been cooking for a while already. That is what's going to happen to the funnel when you try to fill the tube up and it's a huge pain it took me hours last time this significantly decreased the amount of time it took so you can see the steam coming off when I mix it and you can see the, uh, the drier sand on the outer edges is a lighter white and it doesn't stick as much so much easier. Perfecto. That actually worked out amazingly well. Oh boy. I don't want to strip this. So I'm checking and double checking and Ugh. oh no. Boom! Now 
that's a solid uh, roller there. All right, guys, so let's install this striping kit. Now, I am going to use a power tool, but what I learned from the last time I did this, now this was years ago, so maybe they've changed the kit. I don't think so, but anyways, I did strip the plastic while screwing in the screws. And so I'm going to be careful this time not to do that. Probably should be using a manual screwdriver, but I feel like it's a waste of time when you do that. So I know the design is pretty simple. You hook this up here, you hook this up here, and it holds the pole that goes down. Yep, still plastic threads. So this is what I stripped last time right here. So I just gotta be careful not to do that again. And then they've got an actual metal nut here for this one. So I wish it was just all metal. Oh well. Let's see if I can remember how this went. This guy here. Now these are designed to go onto any mower, so that's why it's got so many adjustable pieces like this. But you want this to be the same width. Actually, you might want it. Might actually, no, I think it's in one more. Yeah, because you still want it a little bit wider. And then from here, do do do. Goes like this. So, go like that. Up here. Go like that. Oh, yeah, it has to be that way because it wouldn't have clipped the other way. So, we got the general idea here. Now, you want this to be right here. We got these guys here, so we're gonna have to rotate it some. Just gonna clamp on like this. Oh, it is looking like this fits much better though than the uh, the fit on the Honda, the way the tube is. This didn't close all the way like this, so I think that's why I stripped it because I was trying to tighten it and I tightened it too far. Which it didn't affect the functionality of the striper. It just was annoying. Because technically this bolt here going through will also clamp it down. So you don't have to worry too much, but I hate when you break new things. All right, that looks good. So we'll tighten it a little bit more. Tighten a little bit more. Good. Good enough. I am trying to make sure that these are both installed at the same height, so it's even. So I got like a finger there. Got to move that one a little bit. Finger there. Mm. All right, it's easy enough. These should, and it still seems a little bit too wide. So we'll pop them over one more. See if that does it. Here we go, that looks right.
Oops. This is important too. This is what keeps the right angle. Beep, beep, beep. Get it in. All right, once you get them in a little bit, you're gonna wanna bring this as close to this as you can. Which, because of this, the wheels here can't, although this is making me realize that this here, it makes a nice easy way for the uh, Checkmate striping kit to be able to attach. But we'll get it to here. It's as close as it's gonna get. Come on. There's a little bit of a flex, not too much. I got these little caps, probably just so you don't catch on anything. If I can get it out. Ooh. All right, and now, I remember this is the hardest part, attaching it. I remember this being awkward. I think we wanna do an angle like this. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So if you angle it off, then it'll like diagonal pops right on. guys so oop, I don't normally mow as erratic as that but I wanted to show you an important lesson on angles of your stripes in the Sun so normally I mow either straight this way or straight this way sometimes I'll go this way and the stripes will show up different based on where the Sun is in the day so let's start First showing you this way. All right. So you can sort of see them um, going this way to about here. Not too bad, but not really noticeable. Now, if we go this way with the sun behind us, let's see. Yeah, well, probably a little bit better. Hard for me to see what you see on the screen, but um, it is what it is. 
All right, so now let's do this angle shot here. You can see them again. Not too bad, not that great. Going this way. Same thing. All right, now let's go to this strip where I went straight up and down. I don't think I can see them at all. Now, notice the sun is that direction, so we should be able to start seeing them better now. Now they're starting to show up better. All right. And then do this side angle here, which this tree is kind of blocking it but pretty similar, can't really tell. But we'll go over here. Now ready for this? Boom. All right, so that looks nice. Um, now again, the angles will matter. So personally, in my yard this time of day, the stripes don't look very good. Um, so I used to do a lot more striping videos when I could mow in the middle of the day or earlier in the day, but now I can't, so I don't quite, uh, they don't look as good as, as I want them to, but hey, whatever. All right, so for one final tip, if you put your sprinklers on, then the stripes will actually show up better. So watch what happens when they start to get wet. I hope it shows up. And essentially what's happening is the water is making the reflections much better. Can you see that? I don't know, I can see it in person. It's starting to reflect better. So there you have it. That's the Toro striping kit um, I'll do a re review comparison video on what I think sometime soon uh, but first I gotta deal with this heat stress man this past few days has been crazy and I got a new sprinkler controller put in which clearly needs to be adjusted so I will be doing that have a good one And it was here where I realized that I never finished mowing the other areas that weren't striping for the video. And so I set the sprinklers on and the grass is all soaking wet and I can't mow it now. But whatever, I can mow another day. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like my videos, you'll love my website, grassdaddy.net. The Lawn Care Planner tool will download the local weather reports every morning and build a lawn care plan catered to your area. The Lawn Care Journal allows you to keep track of what you put down, when you put it down, so there's no more guessing or over or under applying any products. We also have a Lawn of the Week contest. Every week a winner gets a Grass Daddy t-shirt. And last but not least, there are application calculators and articles to help you identify and tackle problems in the lawn. So check it out, it's completely free, it's grassdaddy.net.